I just had to do Okay, so today I'm gonna get out my folder because I have a few different things today. So read first or write first? That's my question for you. Read first. All right. Have you ever read that one before? No. All right. So today, um, I can read them and you can read them. We'll take turns. Okay. So this is Magic Tree House, book number thirty-eight. And it is Monday with a Mad Genius by Mary Pope Osborne. Hmm. Okay, somebody wrote the book. That's from my library. Um, you've read these before, so we don't need to read the prologue, right? You've read one of these? Or do you want me to read it still? Mm, I won't. Okay. Chapter 1. Old Friends. Jack poured milk over his cereal. His stomach felt fluttery. It was Monday, the first day of a new school year. Jack always felt nervous on the first day. What would his new teacher be like? Would his desk be close to a window? Would his... Would friends from last year be in his class again this year? Annie, hurry, Jack's mom called upstairs. It's 15 minutes till eight. School starts in a half hour. Jack's dad walked into the kitchen. Are you sure you and Annie don't want me to drive you, he asked. No thanks, we don't mind walking, said Jack. Their school was only three blocks away. How far away is school from your house? Like minutes. Like, do you ride the bus? I ride in the car. Ride in the car? That's what I did too. So it's probably pretty close. That's cool. All right. Annie, hurry! Their mom called again. You're gonna be late. Yeah. The back door banged open. Annie rushed into the kitchen. She was out of breath. Oh, I thought you were upstairs, their mom said with surprise. You were outside? Yes, said Annie, panting, just taking a quick walk. She looked at Jack. Her eyes sparkled. Hurry, Jack. We should really go now. Okay, I'm coming, said Jack. He leapt up from the table. He could tell Annie wasn't taking talking about school. The treehouse must finally be back. So... Your brother, is your, you have a younger brother? Mm -hmm. Is he in school yet or no? Yeah. No. He's still a baby. A baby. Jack grabbed his backpack. Annie held the door open for him. No breakfast, the mom asked. Too nervous to eat, mom, said Jack. All right, do you want to start up here? With this new page? Need to said Annie. Five. My dad, my mom, my dad, have fun, their mom said. Learn a lot, said their dad. Don't worry, we will, said Annie. Jack and Annie slipped out the door and walked quickly across their yard. It's back, said Annie. Bye. Bigger mm -hmm. it was, said Jack. Morgan must want us to look for another. Do you want to tell Kennedy to come out here with me? Can you do that? Can you get Kennedy? What do you think it sounds like? Or looks like? So if it's just the S and the E, C, correct. If it's C, 
Kathy and Crap. You're silly. You know, you can walk. No. Did you break your leg? Secret. Secret? Mm hmm. Of uh, happiness. Mm -hmm. Merlin. Merlin. That's his name. Said Annie. Yep, said Jack. Let's run. Jack and Annie dashed up the sidewalk. They crossed the street and headed into the frog creek woods. They, they ran between the trees mm -hmm. through shadows and light until they came to the tallest oak tree. That was really good reading. There's a lot of big words in there. Good job. Hi, and the tree was the magic tree house. The rope ladder was swaying. Sway. Do you know what swaying means? Swaying is like, do you know when the, the wind blows the trees and you see the, the branches moving back and forth? They're swaying, they're shaking. Swaying in the chilly morning mm -hmm. when how did you know it was her ass jack catching his breath now does it say her or Here. there you go turn this good job okay do you want me to start again or do you want to keep reading I woke up thinking about Teddy and Kathleen, said Annie, and I had this strange feeling. Really, said Jack? Teddy, Kathleen, he shouted up at the treehouse. Two young teenagers looked out the treehouse window, a curly-haired boy with freckles and a big grin, and a smiling girl with sea-blue eyes and dark wavy hair. Jack, Annie, the girl said. Come up, come up, said the boy. Jack and Annie hurried up the rope ladder. When they climbed inside the treehouse, they threw their arms around their friend. Are we going to look for another secret of happiness, said Annie, to help Merlin? Yes, and this time you will travel back to Florence, Italy, 500 years ago. That's a long time. Wow. Said Teddy. Florence, Italy? Do you know what Italy is? Have you ever heard of it before? Is it in Africa? Or is it in Europe? Oh, it's kind of, that's a big, tricky question. Mm. Do you think it's really hot in Italy? Or is it like here? Is it warm and hot and cold and freezing? Mm. I think it's like here. Yeah, good job. Florence, Italy, said Jack. What's, what's there? An amazing person who will help you, said Kathleen. Who? asked Annie. Is this person magical? Teddy grinned. Some people might say so, he said. He reached into his cloak and pulled out a book. The cover showed a drawing of a man wearing a purple cloak and a floppy blue cap. That sounds like a really funny combination, don't you think? What if I showed up today wearing a, a blue cape? Oh, no, a purple cape and a blue hat. I think you'd probably laugh at me. I think I'd probably laugh at myself. He had a long nose, bright, kind eyes, with heavy eyebrows and a flowing beard. The title said, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, that's the picture of him, said Jack. Are you kidding? All right, your turn. I've heard of him, said Annie. Who hasn't said Jack? He was an anchor. That's hard because it's split between incredible. Incredible. 
Jean e us. Genius. Genius. This. Biography. Biography. Biography of Leonardo. Here, let's stop, actually. Do you know what a biography is? So, a biography is like a book, but it's a book all about one person. So, it talks about, like, where they're from, what they did. So, that helps. So, it's biography of Leonardo. So, it's talking about... If it's, talk, if it's a biography of Leonardo, who is it talking about? Um, the person in the book. Yes, good job. Leonardo will help you on your mission. Mission. Mission, said Teddy. And so will this rhyme for Morgan, said Kathleen. She pulled a small piece of parchment mm -hmm. paper from her cloak and gave it to Annie. Mm -hmm. Annie read the words on the paper aloud to Jack and Annie. A frog creeped through the question simple answer might be wrong if you want to know the right the genuine Genius. Genius. All day long. Morning, noon, and afternoon. Till the night heard them sing its song. Mm -hmm. So, to find the secret. Do you know what a secret is? No secret. Um, telling something, something, but not telling other people. There you go. Happens we need to spend the whole day helping Leonardo da, da Vinci. I know da he's Vinci a Italian. It's hard. Said Jack. Yes. Said Kathleen. Teddy nodded. I wish you could come to, said Annie. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's look how many pages are left. Okay. And help us, said Jack. Never fear, said Kathleen. You will have the help of the great genius and the wand of Dianthus. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh, Annie said to Jack. Did you bring our wand? Of course, said Jack. I always carry it with me for safekeeping. He reached into his backpack and pulled out a gleaming silver wand. Do you carry a wand in your backpack? No. No, I don't think I do either. I have an umbrella. Is that the same thing? You try and see how you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to. Remember, oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. The wand of Dianthus, Teddy said in a hushed voice. The wand looked like the horn of a unicorn. Oh, that's awesome. It burned in Jack's hand with cold or warmth. He couldn't tell which. He carefully put the wand back into his pack. Remember the three rules of the wand, said Kathleen. Sure, said Annie. You can only use it for the good of others. You can only use it if after you've tried your hardest. And you can only use it with a command of five words. Excellent, said Kathleen. Do you want to read this last little page? Thanks, said Annie. Ready, she asked. Jack, Jack nodded. Bye, Teddy. Bye, Kathleen. Goodbye, said Teddy. 
and good luck, said Kathleen. Jack pointed at the cover of the book. I wish we could go to the Leonardo A. Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Mm -hmm. In the distance, the school bell started to ring. We didn't kids know now. Mm -hmm. No, there you go. That school would start in ten minutes, but in the Frog Creek woods, the wind started to blow. The three houses started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Um. Absolutely. Absolutely still. Tree houses. Woo, that's awesome. Okay. That was a good one. I like this one. I haven't read this one before either. All right. So now. I'm going to do some writing. This table is sticky. Okay, so get some pens, probably. Oh, yeah, let's see. Another black pen. That's kind of boring. I have. Ooh, pink highlighter. Or I have. A pencil. You can choose. Pick your poison. Nice choice. All right. Okay. So, you can write about anything you want. For however you want. However long you want. Okay. It can be about school. It can be about home. It can be about strawberries. It can be about the floor. It can be about your hair bow. It can be about my shoes. I'm not reading the book, so we can just <laughs> keep going. This one is... 
Do you want to write your name at the top? Just your first name is good. Thank you. All right. So, and then 